YouTube, YouTube, you know what the fuck going on, man. We back again, another reaction video, man. Today, we about to react to DJ Academic speaking on the J. Cole and the Kendrick verse. So, let's get into it. I was gonna stop reporting on this shit, but y'all so mad and so butthurt in the comments. I just gotta keep reporting on it, and I just gotta keep saying that this shit weak. Just because y'all wanna cry. About another man and his poetry, I'ma keep reporting on this shit, saying this shit weak on Fodum Grave. Y'all kiss my ass on game. All right, here we go, DJ Academics. Welcome back to Vlad TV. It's good, Vlad. I know you was missing my my presence in here, man. I was, man. I was. It's been it's been a few months. Nah, it's been a few months. We're back we're back again. Yeah. I'm back at a perfect time. Right, right, and you know I did your show. Yeah, yeah. A couple months ago. Yeah, you know, yeah. You and I kind of go back. I know, and forth. I know, I know. Now this this time around, I was like, yo, I, I got to get to Vlad, and I hate that I, I I rescheduled on you, and I was like, I like I, I'm a man of just like responsibility and integrity. So I'm like, oh man, I want Vlad to think I'm curving him. So let, let's get this done. <laughs> it's all good, and you're right. It is a perfect time right now because hip hop is in an uproar, and of course it started on uh, Metro Boomin Futures like that. Oh, you start with that one. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff, but I think yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, one yeah. to start with. So it okay. started with the Kendrick verse. Yeah. You know, he said, fuck sneak dissing, first person shooter. Hope they come with three switches. Of course, first person shooter was a song with Drake and J. Cole. Mm -hmm. Look, and then that's crazy. Vlad can point that out. Like, but y'all niggas in the comments talk about, man, he only said the, the big three bar and everybody going crazy. <laughs> like, bro, even. Vlad was able to just point out another bar he just said, gang. The first person shooter shit. Like, y'all just like in love with J. Cole, gang. Y'all, 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 man. J. Cole don't know y'all. Let me tell y'all that right now. He don't know y'all, gang. And if he see y'all, he'll probably have his bodyguard come up on y'all and get ready to knock y'all the hell out. Like, so get out my comments crying about a, a nigga that y'all don't know, folks. Like, that shit is the, the weirdest shit ever, gang. And then he said the line that everyone's talking about. Motherfuck the big three. It's just big me. It is more lines. Then, he, of course, he said, uh, for all the dogs getting buried, that's a K with all these nines, you're going to see Pet Cemetery." And there's more lines. Clearly a shot at Drake and J. Cole. Yeah, he shot the whip up, man. Yeah, he shot, shot the whip up. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, disrespectfully, you know, <laughs> let people know. You know, you know what the funny thing is, and I've been realizing about Kendrick, Kendrick is lack of, he's like he's like the level of respect or even handle these guys like with any type of decorum. I mean, he's been doing it since control, you know. You know, he said uh I heard it talking in a barbershop all the time is who's the who's the greatest, me, Jigga, and Nas or something like that. Mm. You know, and then he mentions Eminem Andre three thousand and he says, The rest of y'all Y'all are just new dudes. Just don't even get involved in this. And it, like <laughs> he he never really respected his peers. And I think always you know, I'm gonna blame this whole thing on, on J. Cole, really. You're gonna blame it on J. Cole, J. Cole fans. J. Cole fans. This is all his fault. The reason him and Drake into it, this is all J. Cole's fault. Trying to make that big three shit and all that this is his fault. Gang, now he playing Drake's sidekick. Now he getting getting lyrically destroyed on, on Fodum Grave. And y'all mad as hell in my comments and I'm gotta make these videos. Like, it's crazy, gang. What what y'all y'all keep talking about this strategy? Y'all don't understand the strategies of, in the arts of war and the arts of battle and gang. He made a diss. He made one. It was shitty. Now, if Kendrick make one, now what? Now he gonna be up two to his zero? What the hell? Like, y'all man, get out of here with that shit, man. Y'all better get in, in 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 J Cole comments and tell him that we hollering. And we don't think he 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 what he is with y'all crybaby asses on Fulham Grave. Really, mm. J Cole's been the one trying to like walk in the middle, the little brother, so to speak, the middle child, trying to keep yeah. his hands around the two other brothers that really want to go at it. And uh, he been he's been saying this big three shit all this whole time. Yo, this big was three is us, shit. it's us, it's us. I like Kendrick it. never looked at he, the whole time. Was like, who's us? Like, I don't fuck with you. <laughs> so I mean, I told you, you know, two things occurred, right? Him and Drake should have already kicked off, but something happened along the line where his relationship with J. Cole severed. And that, you could actually see it being documented 
from when they were first linked and seen in the studio and they were supposed to do an album. Yeah, you've been hearing about this uh, J. Cole, Kendrick album yeah. forever, but you've never heard any songs or no. any progress or no nothing. No. But and then again, but then again, just to be fair, Kendrick's had a lot of albums, like the Black Hippie album never came out. That's with his own label mates. So it seems like Kendrick is just doing Kendrick the whole yeah, time. Punch used to tease it, like, hey, they got a couple projects. Absol went on, um, while he was on a Breakfast Club one time, uh, he was asked about it. Yo, what's up with this, like, this Kendrick and J. Cole project? He's like, nah, it exists. It's coming. Uh, Punch was like, yeah, we're waiting on them. Like, it, what, what is happening? Hmm. And then years later, when a fan finally said, yo, we need, like, a couple, like, couple tracks, he was like, nah, this ain't ever coming. It's over. And that was, like, kind of abrupt where people were just like, oh, they're just not going to put it out. But I have to imagine something along the line happens. And I really think that... You know, I, I think that um, I think Kendrick and Drake were parents fighting over um, custody of uh, J. Cole. Drake won custody in family court, and of course Kendrick a little mad. You know what I mean? I think that's what happened because he, the way he does both of them, it, he acted like he don't even have a relationship with them, which I imagine he doesn't really have one with Drake. Drake back in the day when he did Control, Drake his demeanor was. Are we really dissing or we're rapping? Like, I can't tell it because you're not standing on it. I think he, his line specifically was, hey, you're going to call my name out to get a moment, and then you're going to just say you're just rapping. Well, that's not that's not how I do it. Like, usually if you're going to call my name on it, you're going to stand on whatever you say. So, you know, uh, I'm still blaming this whole thing on, on, on J. Cole. He's been acting like these three are kumbaya. I mean, the culture's kind of wanted them to be kumbaya. And, um, yeah, Kendrick said, fuck that shit, man. Okay, man, let me go ahead and put my little rest of this shit on here, man. I don't got nothing against J. Cole. I don't got no problem with J. Cole, bro. I ain't trying to shit on this nigga music. I'm not trying to downplay his song uh, so Kendrick can look like the, the better person. I don't got no dog in this fight, gang, but... When y'all got in my comments and started doing all that extra shit, gang, y'all y'all making me not like J. Cole. Just his fans, y'all his fans is making me not like him. I'm not gonna lie, gang. Like, so I'm gonna keep reporting on this shit until until we get some more better responses and and everybody keep talking about it. I'm gonna keep reporting on it. Cause y'all y'all to piss me off in them comments. Don't come in my comments doing that on gang. I ain't gonna fake. I don't care about none of this poetry shit. With these niggas, be respectful on phone them grave. <laughs> like, y'all be tweaking, but y'all get the comments and like and subscribe. It's merch. I'm out, man.